Hello mobsters! Just as promised, uh, I'm here to do the 2017 Battle of the Bosses commencement announcement. So for any new members, because there's a lot of new people in the lounge who have never heard of the Battle of the Bosses or haven't, um, you know, experienced the Battle of the Bosses yet. Um, this is going to be awesome for you, so I'll just kind of give you a briefing of what the Battle of the Bosses is if you have not participated in the battle yet. Um, each year um, in June, we start on June the 1st, and the battle lasts for the entire month of June. Uh, so June 1 through June 30, uh, the members of Property Mob participate in a friendly competition uh, to see who can earn the title of the boss and the boss is the person who during the battle of the bosses has demonstrated their ability to claim that title and keep that uh t you know that title for an entire year we give out prizes and do a lot of fun stuff for the players and we'll talk about that in just a minute um but i'm gonna go over how you actually participate in the battle and how you win the Battle of the Bosses. So for new people, this is a, a fantastic uh, opportunity for you to get your game on right now, right? To put your face on and get serious. If you've kind of been dabbling around and not taking the business seriously or you haven't had any reason to execute your plan, the Battle of the Bosses is going to do that for you. This is our third annual Battle of the Bosses, and both years have just been really exciting. Uh, they've been fascinating to watch. You just don't know who's out there making it happen until you see the battle happening. And we've had some phenomenal years. Uh, the past two years in the battle, just the winners, just whoosh, they just take off and really impress everybody who is a member of the mob with the number of deals they're doing, the amount of money they're making, and you know everybody else is watching and it just fuels everybody with energy and motivation to try to accomplish the same thing. So it's really awesome. I love the Battle of the Bosses. I can't wait to see what happens this year. We got a, a, some rules are different this year. Not much. I think you'll like them. So I've got my notes here and I'm going to kind of go over with you um, how it's gonna work this year and when you can register and all that good stuff. Uh, and by the way, if you're already doing deals, this is your moment to push yourself. And you know, the, P the players of the battle uh, usually say, this was my best month you know, that I've ever had. I was just trying to win that uh, competition and uh, the battle really pushed me to the limit. So I want everybody to play in the Battle of the Bosses. No matter what level you're, you're at right now, I want you to participate this year in Battle of the Bosses. Okay, so um, how you earn points in the Battle of the Bosses, there are four categories in which you can earn points. There's participation, reputation, contracts, and closings. And each category has uh, different achievements that you can earn, of which points are attached to those achievements. Uh, point system is a little different this year, um, but in theory, you know, it all works the same. So I'll start with uh, just the achievement points. Uh, participation, there's a couple of ways in there. Once you register, you'll be able to see all the different ways you can earn points. I'm not going to go into detail about that. Um, participation, reputation is getting testimonials and credibility kits, um, you know, similar to last year. Contracts, I've added two new achievement points in contracts. So there's four ways to earn points in the contract category. You can get contracts with sellers, contracts with buyers, and I've added um, an affidavit memorandum achievement. So if you've never recorded an affidavit or a fuck you David, as we like to call it in the mob, um, this is your chance. You know, maybe you're just doing it to earn the points or maybe you actually need to do one legitimately. Uh, but either way, I think everybody should know how to go about filling out the affidavit and recording it in the public records. And you know, this is your chance to do that. 
Um, and also I have a renegotiation achievement. So if you're able to renegotiate a lower price with your seller than you originally agreed on and you get that in writing in an amendment, you get points for that. And then closings, and then you get uh, points for the amount of money that you earn on your closing. So whether we call them single, doubles, triples, or home runs, and it's based on the amount of profit that you earn on your deal. Um, we are only doing wholesale deals this year, so no rehabs will be accepted as a submission for uh, Battle of the Bosses. And there's just, I wish I could, you know, but when you have someone, you know, a couple of people monitoring um, what's going on and verifying that everything is um, legitimate and correct because I definitely want to make sure that that's what's happening. There's no way to verify a rehab. Um, they, there's cost involved in rehabbing properties and there's no way for me to really verify the expenses that are attached to that. So only assignment fees um, are going to be allowed for submission in the Battle of the Bosses and they can be either an assignment fee on the HUD of which the check needs to match or you can do a double HUD closing. It needs to close within a certain amount of time from each other. So those are the, uh, a little change in the rules for closings for Battle of the Boss this year. All right, then we have badges. Now the badges are earned based on what you're doing in the participation, I'm sorry, in the um, uh, achievement category. For example, if you earn $50,000 in the month of June, then you get the money bags badge. That's different. We did not have that last year. Uh, that's something new that we've added. Um, speedball badge is new this year. You can earn that by getting a contract with a seller, a buyer, and close that transaction all within the month of June. You get a speedball badge and lots of points for that. And then there's other badges that you can earn based on what you're doing inside the other achievements. So you'll be able to see all of the badges uh, that are available to redeem in the Battle of the Bosses when you register and you start checking out the website. It's laid out nicely. Um, the link is not available yet. Uh, I'll tell you about registrations in just a minute. Um, something new this year is groups. So we're going to have teams in the Battle of the Bosses. So uh, that's different than last year. So while we'll still have prizes for individual bosses, there will also be a prize uh, for the best team. And I will be assembling the teams together. Um, each team will be three people. It will consist of one newbie, one intermediate, and one advanced real estate investor. And the goal is for you guys to help each other out and try to help that newbie or the intermediate get to a closing. So there's this uh, groups will be set up inside the Battle of the Bosses Battleground website. You can go to your group. Only those three team members are able to see what he, you guys are talking about as a team. So the other members will not be able to see it. So I created the teams as a way, because we have a lot of competition right now in this business. And I wanted to create the teams so that you could kind of put the concept together that competition is okay in your market or not in your market. You can still do deals and you can still be the boss even if you're helping someone else or even if somebody else is out there trying to do the same thing. So the team concept has an underlying message and I want you to remember that while you're playing it. There will be prizes for the best team and that is the team who has the most accumulated points as a team. And then there also will be the, the ultimate winner of Battle of the Bosses who as an individual has scored the most points. There will also be an award for best negotiator. We didn't have that last year. And that is the player with the highest average assignment fee overall. So we'll take that person and they will receive a uh, prize for best negotiator. So that's kind of fun too. Um, okay, the levels um, are the same as last year. So we have five levels that you achieve as you're competing in the Battle of the Bosses. The Associate, the Soldier, the Capo, Underboss, and then the Boss. 
And once you register, you'll be able to see the point system and how you reach those different levels based on what you're doing in the game. So it's really fun, and you guys are going to have a great time, and I cannot wait to watch what's going on. So the prizes for this year, the boss um, is going to get bragging rights, of course, for one entire year in the mob as the boss, the winner of 2017 Battle of the Bosses. They will have one year of platinum membership in the property mob for free. Uh, we also um, send you this beautiful crystal uh, winner trophy that has the boss, Battle of the Bosses, the year that you participated. And we're also going to award you with one year subscription to Audible. So that is audiobooks. They come on your uh, smartphone. It's excellent. I subscribe to Audible and it's just amazing. You know, people like to take their uh, education with them and this is a great way. So you'll get one year of subscription paid for by the mob for Audible. The best team will have a prize, undisclosed prize yet, but just know that each member of the team will receive a prize for that. Um, I want to have at least 18 people participate in the Battle of the Bosses this year. Last year we had, I think, 11 um, members participate, and that was great. So this year, you know, encourage your members to register and participate in the battle. We're going to be doing, you know, a lot of emails next week to get people to um, register and play because I want at least six teams of three people. Um, what else? Everyone who reaches level capo, and that is like right in the middle, will receive a Battle of the Bosses uh, player t-shirt. I just posted a picture of it in the Mobsters Lounge. Uh, it's really cool. Mallory designed that. Um, I love it. It says hashtag Mobsters Unite on the back and it has a cool mobster on the front of the Battle of the Bosses 2017. So everybody who reaches um, capo level will receive a player t-shirt for Battle of the Bosses. So um, I think that wraps it up. Now as far as registrations, registrations will open on Monday. So on this Monday, May 22nd, uh, we'll send out registration links. You'll be able to register as a player for Battle of the Bosses. You just can't submit anything until June the 1st. Um, as far as contracts and closings, um, anything that's date sensitive, you will not be able to do that. You can do some of the participation stuff um, and, you know, go ahead and start accumulating some points that way. Uh, but any submissions for real estate transactions will start on June the 1st. Uh, so make sure you register. Opens on May 22nd. Um, registration closes on May the 29th. So I want to be able to close the registration and put the teams together so that you guys can all start on June the 1st and start getting acclimated to the website, how to navigate around, know what you know it means to earn your points and read the instructions and stuff and know how to play. You can always post questions in the lounge if you have them about how to submit you know, an achievement or how to earn your badge, uh, but it's pretty uh, self-explanatory once you register and you'll see everything on the Battleground website. We have not posted the link yet to register, um, but if you go to members.propertymob.com forward slash battle, that's the link that will be open on May 22nd, Monday, so that you can register for the battle. So if you have any questions, you know what to do. Post them in the lounge or uh, send an email to us and let us know. And I want you to participate in the Battle of the Bosses this year. You don't want to miss it. We only do it once a year, so go ahead and register and play to win. That's what I want everybody to do. Play to win. I'll be watching. All right. See you later.